I do a lot of the times. I mean, and, and I'm keeping it up, but I'm not. Damn, there was one fall on it. Damn, another one fall. <laughs> Damn, there was like three of them after it. There you go. Dirty jig, swim jig. What's up guys, Wes Logan here with Bass Resource. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about springtime swim jig fishing. And when I say springtime, I mean pre-spawn, spawn and post-spawn. You know, where I'm at in the country, you know, south, you know, I'm in central Alabama in the south. That, that time period is gonna be from, you know, probably late February, middle of February to all the way it can be at the end of April, middle of May. So it's a, it's a pretty good time period. It's probably the best time to be bass fishing. The fish are shallow. Um, they're wanting to eat. Once they get up there ready to spawn, you know, they're on the bed up shallow. They come off the bed, they're trying to eat there as well. And one of the great ways to catch them is a swim jig. It's one of my favorite ways to fish. Um, I've had a lot of success with it. And I'm gonna let you on a little inside a few tips um, 90 percent of the time i'm going to be throwing a 5 16 ounce dirty jigs no jack swim jig it's just I, i've went through a lot I've, I've used homemade ones you know growing up around the house and this is probably the best jig that i've found on the market um it's just got a really beefy hook that 5 16 with the trailer that i use that i'll get into in a second it just it kind of lets that jig float there around the cover whatever cover i may be throwing it around and they've got some great colors i mean just just a really all around great swim jig. You're never gonna flex that no jack hook. I mean, it's you could literally tie it to the bumper of a truck and I don't think you would bend it. But into a little bit more detail, um, like I said, this is my favorite swim jig. And one of the trailers that I use a lot of the times is a Zoom Super Speed Crawl. And basically what it is, it's just a crawl style bait. You know, it's got the cut tails, but it's got some big flappers. And what that allows to do, it's going to like float in the water more than a smaller inline crawl style bait with smaller pinchers. And that's going to let me be able to work it slower in the springtime, which I feel like is a bigger deal where you want the bait to be making a lot of action, but not bringing the bait towards you as fast. So you don't want to be moving the bait through the water towards you fast, but you want the bait to be doing a lot of movement where it's at. And with that 5 16th weight and this trailer, you're able to do that. Um, if I'm in really clear water and I do want to speed it up a little bit, I'll go to a Z-Crawl Junior uh, in whatever color I'm throwing. You know, if I'm throwing a white one, obviously I'll have some kind of pearl or white. Uh, if I go to a black and blue, it'll be a black um, or, you know, a more natural color, be a, a, a brim, green pumpkin, something like that. And reiterating on the colors, I, I'm a real simple guy when it comes to it in the spring. Um, most of the time I'm going to be white or black, just depending on the water color, if there's a lot of people throwing one, I might throw the opposite of what everybody's catching them on. So if you see a lot of people throwing white, I might change to black or vice versa, something like that. Um, going into the setup with the rod reel and the line, uh, the rod, I like to use a 7.6 medium heavy. And, you know, a lot of people are like, man, that rod wears you out. It's such a big rod. But the, the rod that I use is an art reinforcer. It's a 7.6 medium heavy and it just it's got a really good parabolic bend to it i jerk really hard and i don't mean to it's just it's just what i've always done and with that braided line if you try and do that with a heavy on the the size rod that i use it, you're just going to have a lot of fish fly out of the water you're going to rip some big holes in their mouth when that's really not all necessary so that's why i go towards the the medium heavy in that and with that art reinforcer that you know the bend the parabolic bend of that rod goes down probably 24 inches so when i set the hook that rod's loading up a a lot more than a heavy wood. Uh, moving on to the reel, I use a Lose Pro TI. It's a 7.5 to 1. You know, it's a pretty high gear ratio. It's not as high as they make, but um, I feel like that 7.5, like I said, that 7.5 is a good all around. You know, I'm, I'm still having to work it a little bit, but I'm not wearing myself out throughout the day with like a 6 or a 5 gear ratio. You just, you can't do it all day and not get tired doing that. So with that 7.5, it really helps you out, you know, keeping your stamina up and all that. Um, the line, 99% of the time I'm throwing, you know, Sunline FX2 60 pound. Uh, hardly ever will I swim on 50 just because I put so much shock on the line uh, a lot of times on the hook set and I'm throwing this in some gnarly stuff you know around bushes grass bank grass it could be under boat docks stuff like that and this is all in the springtime now for pre-spawn post-spawn during the spawn all this is going on in that March to you know end of April period February so 
with that 60 pound line going back to that is I, like i said i put a lot of shock on it so i feel like that 60 pounds got enough strength to hold up to it i've never had it fail me so it's kind of like a you know a foolproof system that's just kind of what i always go with but like i said the the main thing in the springtime is color speed and just you know getting into an area that has some fish if it's pre-spawn they're pulling up if you've got shallow cover um go and going reiterating on the shallow deal if you're in a you're at a lake or a reservoir or whatever that the fish don't normally live shallow most of the time in the springtime that's your best chance to catch them shallow and like i said that one of the great ways to do it is on a swim jig the dirty jig no jack 5 16 it's an awesome one to try i hope this helps guys and good luck out on there on water